Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and uh, today we are going to be diving into um, eBay. I don't know why I hesitated. I'm literally staring right at the logo. I'm literate. I know how to read. And yes, I changed my hair again. It's a brownish red color. <clears throat> Comment down below if you think it looks great. If you think it looks bad, keep your mouth shut. So as you all know, the internet can be a weird place. And you know, people are constantly selling things and whatnot. So I thought, why don't I go onto eBay and just type in really weird stuff and just like see what comes up. You know, nothing like a rainy Monday, uh, you know, early afternoon. Is it even Monday? It's Wednesday, but you know, I'm here with my tea on a rainy Wednesday, supposedly, afternoon. Uh, you know, what better time is there than to just um, scout, you know, scrounge around the internet like a little rat, a little rat looking for pieces of content. I need content, anything to make me money. <clears throat> so, you know, why don't we just get into it? The first thing I'm gonna search for is haunted doll. Why is my computer being so slow? Okay, my computer is literally already being so slow. Is me typing in Haunted Doll like making a spirit take over my Mac? Okay, so they have like little categories for I guess like things that you search. So it goes Haunted Dolls, category Dolls, and then Haunted Dolls, category Metaphysical Items. All right, let's do this one. Haunted Doll, Lilith, 20 years old, witch spirit, powerful. For only, uh, you know, a bargain of $120. It only cost $120 plus $10 shipping to bring uh, a malicious entity into your home and, you know, maybe get possessed by a demon. Sounds like a bargain if you ask me. Okay, sorry. This is crooked. I don't know if you guys can hear my computer huffing and puffing like it's having an asthma attack and is being forced to run the mile. Um, but something is going on with my computer. I genuinely think me going onto eBay and searching also... I needed to fix my bangs. Um, going out to eBay and searching haunted doll um, did possess my computer. Steve Jobs' spirit is literally fighting off a demon for, for the sake of my laptop right now. But you know, I'm gonna try again because guess what? What's that saying? I am woman, hear me roar or something like that. Hell hath no fury, fu hell hath no fury like a woman who has to restart her goddamn computer. All right, let's try this again. Haunted dolls. So we were looking at Miss Lilith. Miss Lilith, welcome to the stage, Miss Miss Lilith. This is Lilith. She is 20 years old and her vessel is 16 inches tall. Lilith is an amazing witch spirit. The amazing thing about this spirit is she has the ability to control and banish negative energies. Okay, you should name her Sage instead. It would be perfect for people that have negative spirits and energies in their home that they need help with. Well, enough said, let's choose the fastest shipping option. I'm just kidding, I love the energy of my home. My roommates are watching this like, oh. Okay, tell us how you really feel. You're gonna get a whole ass haunted doll to try and fix the energy in here. How about I just move out? Lilith took her own life when she was being hunted. That is a bummer. She knew that people figured out that she was a witch and that they were after her. She didn't want to die the painful death that she knew was coming. Okay, trauma dumping on eBay. Before deciding that you want her, you need to realize by having Lilith, you are welcoming a spirit into your home. I feel like most people might gather that if they're Googling haunted doll. Due to eBay's policies, I must list any of my dolls as entertainment purposes only. <laughs> but they are all a responsibility and require much attention and care. Honestly, if this is like a nice spirit, Lilith, God bless, peace and love, I feel like I might want, I would rather have like a non, or not a non, I would rather have a benevolent spirit in my home than like an actual child, you know? Please don't bid unless you are ready and able to commit. Please be sure you want your spirit before adopting. I do not order, I do not accept order cancellations or refunds. Yeah. Can you imagine if you like, adopted Lilith and you were like, this is actually all a little too much for me, like my sheets being pulled off my body in the middle of the night being, you know, lifted up on crashing into the ceiling, you know, I got concussed, um, can I like get a refund or, you know, return her? And they're like, nope, live with your mistake. Haunted dolls, tulip, child spirit, very sweet loves candy. This is Tulip. She is a child spirit and her vessel is nine inches tall. Tulip is a very sweet spirit. I knew just from her energy that she was going to be precious. The lady that had her said she could hear someone walking around her home after buying this doll. So sweet and precious. 
She also noticed that the candy she kept out looked like someone had gotten into it. On Tulip's reading, I found her parents never let her have sugar, so now she wants candy all the time. She is a diabetic. Uh, make sure to take her to the endocrinologist monthly so that she can check her A1C. <laughs> I'm kidding, it doesn't say that. She knows how to light up lights and she is quick to bond. When you get her, don't forget to give her a gift and, and light a white candle and incense to welp welcome her spirit. Jeez. Wait, the whole last half of this paragraph is like the same as the last one, talking about please don't bid unless you are ready and able to commit and this and that. Is this by the same woman? Does she just have like, or they, do they just have like a ton of haunted dolls that they're just trying to get rid of? Honestly, going into a house that just has a bunch of haunted dolls, I bet the vibe is crazy in there. Let's look at another one. Oh my god, these are all like haunted doll, like precious child spirit, loves, you know, to play tag and things like that. Where are the ones that are like, this doll is gonna ruin your life? I guess it's, that's not really a great selling point, but I just want like something crazy. Ooh, this one's named Emily. We have to, we have to see, we have to see. I mean, oh, she's really scary looking. Okay, Emily's little bio or whatever kind of is not giving. Uh, it's just, it says haunted doll Emily, age three. Um, me too, plus another 20 years. Uh, energy type positive, disembodied noises, door opening. I can do that too. Uh, and then it just says, per eBay's policies, my dolls are listed for entertainment purposes only. I'm not responsible for any experience you may or may not have. I, they, I feel like anyone selling in the, in the meta, metaphysical, like, realm, like, they have to put that or something. Like, listen, if you buy this and the doll takes control of your car and, you know, makes you do an illegal U-turn and you crash into the local Wendy's, that's not on me, sis. Like, you bought the doll, so... <laughs> I mean, Miss Emily, I, I'm coming to you as a woman and as another Emily. You look like you've been through a tornado. Looks like someone tried to snatch her wig, but they failed. I'm going to stop right there because I don't want to be roasting a haunted doll or some sort of active spirit. Emily, uh, although your hair could be combed or brushed, I like your dress. Please do not um, come for me. So, you know, we looked at some of these haunted dolls. Honestly, there are so many of them. Maybe I would just make a whole video, like, looking at these haunted dolls. But um, we're going to move on. I'm going to type in furry suit. Oh, wow. They have a lot. They're expensive. This one is $2,000. $500. And then the next one says one cent. Why? If you are selling me a whole furry suit and it is one cent, one penny... I'm not buying that. There's something wrong with it. I feel like there's lice in it or something. I'm gonna click on it. So this is a furry mascot, original furry husky, digitigrade fursuit, costumes suit costume. <clears throat> not redundant in the slightest. So the starting bid is one cent. Uh, and then shipping costs $300. I mean, let's take a look. Yeah, it's, it's a cute uh, husky. Um, oh my god. He has a tail. That's a tail. I did think that was something else. And, um, I was gonna be like, wow, that husky is very well endowed, but that's a tail, so it's fine. Okay, yeah, loving the little different poses. I, I'm just imagining, like, them doing this out, like, on their front porch. Can you imagine their neighbor comes out and they look to their left and see this? They're like, what? the hell? And then the husky is like, oh, hey, Bill. Good morning to you. How? It, weather's pretty nice. <laughs> Gucci should release furry suits, I think. I feel like they should get on that. Like, a rhino is the first thing you see at, at the Gucci fashion show. They're like, oh, like, I thought this was... Am I at the zoo? They sell a lot that, like, it only has the head and, like, no fur on it. You, like, you have to get the fur, like, why wouldn't the fur just come on it? That's kind of, like, sucky. Can you imagine you just buy, like, the bear skull to the, it's not really a skull, it's made out of styrofoam, but, you know, you buy the bear head for your furry suit, and then you have to buy the fur separately. You have to buy, like, e each strand is, like, ten cents, and they get shipped to you, like, individually. For you to get your furry suit all together so that you can actually wear it, it actually takes about seven years. Didn't know if y'all knew that. 
Oh my god, wait, this one, the photo shoot, is literally on a playground. By the way, I have nothing against furries. I think that if that's what you like to do, that's what you like to do. It's none of my business. My only concern is that you guys, if you're a furry, please hydrate before you get into these costumes because I feel like they look very, very hot and it would be easy for you to get dehydrated and faint. And then what? You, you have to call the ambulance and when the ambulance comes, there you they just see this like... This limp fox <laughs> just lying on the ground. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. Well, it's not funny. I like for this under condition, it says new without tags, brand new, unused, and unworn item, which is interesting because someone is wearing it in the photo. <laughs> but this is called Halloween, Halloween Husky, Husky Dog, Dog, Dog Fox Dog Fursuit Dog Furry Mask Mascot. Mas 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 Halloween Husky Dog Fox Fursuit Furry Mascot Costume Suit Cosplay Dress Adult A+. I literally, I feel like all of the, the titles for these fursuits are meant to be said like while stuttering and sounding extremely anxious. Just like a uh, Halloween husky uh, dog fox fursuit furry uh, mascot costume suit cosplay a, a, a dress adult uh, A+. It just sounds like somebody who like is struggling to get their point across. <laughs> I love this photo. This is very like when you're talking to your friend and then your crush walks by and then they're like act natural and you're like I'm seeing a lot of huskies. There's so many huskies. Every single one is like a dog or something. Oh, here's... Okay, I'm confused because this one is somehow a deer, a bunny, and a husky, and a jackalope. Uh, how are they all combined? Has science gone too far? Uh, and it also says angel. Um, yeah, I'm getting some angel vibes. If I, you know, if I went up to heaven and I saw that, I would be like, actually, maybe no. I, I don't, am not getting angel vibes. If I went up to heaven and I saw that, I would be like, I am at a furry convention in Colorado. Can you imagine this welcoming you to the pearly gates? I would be like, okay, Jesus, Big J, if I can call you that. Uh, am I going to go to hell for saying that? I'll, I'll just use his formal name. Jesus, uh, what's going on? Instead of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it's the Father, the Son, and the Angel, Deer, Bunny, Furry, Husky, Digital Grade, Fursuit, Jackalope, Costumes, Furry, Mascot. I think that's in the New Testament. Alright, the next thing I have on my list to search, I'm kind of scared, um, but I'm going to search for used tampon. I'm a little disappointed. There is, there's, no, there's no used tampons here. They have vintage tampons. Let's see, there is this vintage tampon tampon. Vin <clears throat> oh, wait, under condition, it says used. Are they used? Why am I excited? Vintage tampon tampax box, 1950s? Question mark. Can you imagine putting in a tampon from the 1950s? I think something, it, it wouldn't even, it would just disintegrate right, right in there, I think. I feel like the moment you like push the applicator up to insert it, it just, it turns into sand. I feel like if I put in one of these vintage tampons, it would start a new COVID variant. And then America would hate Chinese people even more because they would be like, did you hear about that Chinese woman who put a, a disintegrating tampon into her vagina and now uh, the mask mandate is back in place? So there was really no used tampons. Let's look up used pad. Okay, all that's coming up is like iPads and, and tablets and things like that, which makes sense because uh, who in their right mind is going to be searching on eBay for a used menstrual pad? Uh, <laughs> I am that girl. I'm just so different, I guess. Let's see, what else could I type? I'm going to uh, type in poopy pants. Okay, apparently poopy pants is the name of like a book or something. I feel like why... Okay, they're selling a t-shirt called Poopy Pants Joe Biden Shirt Funny Anti-Biden Trump and America U.S. Flag T-shirt. Um, and it just says Poopy Pants Biden. Oh, no one, you're really going to tell me that no, the internet is not as weird as I thought it was, apparently, because I really thought that I was going to get a bunch of, is Poopy Pants Joe Biden like a Republican meme or something? Because I'm seeing so much about Poopy Pants Joe. Um, but anyways, I really thought that people were going to be like selling their poopy pants on here and literally not one hit, not one hit. All I'm getting is, is a conservative like merch of poopy pants Biden. 
did he poop himself or something? Like, is this like the gun girl who pooped herself like at um, at a party? Like, are they or did he? He's probably pooped his pants sometime in the last two years, I'm sure. He just looks like someone that, you know, it would happen on accident. Let me, I'm gonna look up hairball. No, I'm gonna look up toenail clippings. They better not show me clippers. I want the clipping. I want the clipping, sis. Did I ask for toenail clippers? No, I said clippings. I want the actual nail. Can the internet be like more weird? Like this is like not fun. <laughs> All right, what if I do poop stained pants? There is one result for poop stained pants selling, selling for $39.99 plus $43.50 shipping. So this is labeled Goosh Pants. <clears throat> Goosh Pants Halloween poop stained dirty costume funny novelty joke. It's not even real. It's not even real. And you're gonna try and this, make me pay for shipping that's more than the actual product and it's not even real. Me being disappointed that the poop and, and pee is not real. <laughs> Top 10 anime betrayals, <laughs> why am I stuttering? Oh my God. See, this is, <laughs> this is when I do videos that are unscripted. I just feel this pressure to speak because who wants to watch a video of just some girl being silent? But then I stutter and I get like nervous for some reason. Oh, the last thing I had was love letter. I wanted to see if there are any love letters on here that you would like buy and give to another person. Vintage handwritten love letters 2020 from jail husband wife drug addiction huge T5. Don't know what that means but I'm intrigued. I just realized my computer is probably being slow because every time I click on a new item it brings me to an, another tab. So literally I have a tab for hot dog, hot dog, frizzy, use tampon, poop stains, breast milk. Like, oh my god, I need to exit out of some of these. I want to start this letter out by saying that I'm so happy that you came into my life. I can't seem to wrap my head around now. Men, I love you. And how... Oh. I can't seem to wrap my head around how much I love you. And now, and how lucky I feel. <laughs> Damn! And you deserve the best of everything and to be happy. You deserve to feel loved and wanted, and I want to be the one to make you feel all those things. Aw, wait, stop. They're selling this? Hmm, this is kind of interesting to me, actually. I wonder if these people know, did they ever get, like, these letters, or these are unsent, I guess? I wonder um, if they know it's, like, up for... Up for bids. <laughs> They're literally, like, pouring their heart out for each other, and then the person who found this was like, all right. 25, 25 starting out, okay, 30, 30, 30, <laughs> like. I'm gonna look up Haunted Clown because I kind of liked the vibe we were getting with the dolls. <laughs> that nice, haunted, possessed vibe. I want something that's like actually creepy. None of this like, she loves to pick flowers and she was, you know, she worked at a, a, a vegan bakery when she was a young girl. Like, no, I want something crazy. Haunted Doll Manny, dark and chaotic. Yes, 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 yes. Dark and chaotic, yes. Yes, yes possessed, possessed clown, clown, yes. yes. <laughs> the slay of that, the slay of that. Of that. Manny, I mean no harm. I just, uh, you know, I just want to share your story. Manuel, or Manny, appears to me as a man in his late 40s, short and unassuming. Okay, why do you have to read him for filth on here? She's like, Manny was a man in his late 40s who still lived in his parents' basement and he only ate Doritos for every meal and he got no bitches. I'm kidding. Manny, I'm joking. Anyways, uh, appears to me as a man in his late 40s, short and unassuming with chin length dark hair, shark-like black eyes and tanned skin. There is a noticeable red birthmark running vertical down his temple adjacent to the left, left eye. That might just be Sharpie, girl. Do not be fooled by the nice, unassuming vessel that the spirit occupies. Is it nice and unassuming? I don't know. If I saw that, I feel like I'd be like, that's, that's definitely haunted. During his life, Manny was a drug runner, uh, enforcer, and black market organ smuggler who died in the 1980s. Love. Love those vibes. Manny died in an intentional fire set by his cousin. That's in all caps. Um, who savagely beat him unconscious while he was sleeping. Oh my god, double whammy. It's like you, you're really gonna set an intentional fire and beat the shit out of me? 
It's like, <laughs> pick your poison, you know? I've come across a few energies like these, usually people who are alive, and it always makes my hair stand up because I know to my core that they are murderers. I would hate to have that little like sixth sense, you know, like if I'm just out enjoying my day, you know, just having a little going shopping and then I'm gonna see a movie and I'm gonna sit in a little cafe and then all of a sudden I get this, there's a murderer here. It's like, that just sounds like too much. Like, can I live? He thoroughly enjoys experiencing other people's pain and suffering, which he projects to me very clearly. It's almost as if he carries the energy of those he has tortured with him and he relishes in it. Oh my God, bad boy, kind of a bad boy. I know that there's women out there that are like, I can fix him. <laughs> Manny, just, just please look at me. Manny, look at me. It is strongly advised against keeping this vessel consistently around children, pets, or ailing loved ones because his toxic negative energy could penetrate the most vulnerable and unprotected in the form of psychological, mental, and emotional attacks. Oh my God, psychological, mental, and emotional attacks. That just sounds like a regular man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine giving Manny to your child as a toy and then immediately your child just starts seizing. Or I'm imagining like a very rich woman who just found out that like she is the heir to her father's business only if he dies and she just like slides the doll towards him while he's in the hospital and she's like, you know what, Manny? Do your thing because I need that will money, okay? As soon as she slides Manny towards her father, he just starts flatlining. She's like, oh my God, who did that? Technically not me. Okay, well, this was fun, um, but I think I'm done now. I am going to close my computer uh, because it has been huffing and puffing the entire time I've been filming. Sorry for the background noise. Um, but this was fun. Uh, honestly, eBay is, wasn't as weird as like I thought it was gonna be. But for you spiritual girlies, um, comment down below if like I'm like being disrespectful to the spirits because I I'm actually being serious because I don't want to be haunted like I would rather not you know um also uh I want to talk about this I uh am going to be in a short film soon so I really hope that you guys will uh support it and watch it um I'm really really happy uh because all I've really ever wanted to do was be an actress and I feel like I'm really putting myself out there and, uh, you know, really working towards my goals while also being a nurse, which is very hard, uh, <laughs> but I am trying and, um, yeah, I just hope you guys will like watch it and support it because, and give me constru constructive criticism because I really am trying to, uh, you know, I just feel like I'm supposed to be an entertainer. So, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I was rambling a lot. Uh, and until next time.